Hawks on attack, three on two. Darko needs to go up. Nice shot by Darko. A little soft hook. European style. They say he has every move in the book. I see Dion looking. He wants to drive again. But they go right back inside. It must be the game plan to go inside to Darko. He takes a jump shot, and that's good. Get up the court. I think Alonzo needs to look more for his shot. If he's going to be a shooter, every time he grabs that ball, he needs to be looking at the hoop like, is this a shot I need to take? Nice move by Darko. Everett Bartley got away with a bit of a travel there. Darko reverse under the hoop layup. That's the best move of the night for him, Benny. It, it's going to be, they're going to need two or three guys on the team to stop him. Great move by Darko. Reverse layup. It'll be a tough matchup for JK. Um, he's going to have to either front him or Josh Pace is going to be having that all day. I think they'll need to double team Josh Pace tonight because he'll look to be showing the Hawks franchise why they let him go. But that's a great sign for And Let's get some cheap baskets on the fast breaks. I don't think they did a whole lot of that in the first game. They got a good shot by um, They've had a couple of good looks. You know, a good fast break. And there we go. Hopefully a flush. There we go. You're on with a flush. And Hard dude. You know, it, no matter if he's injured or what, he'll still give you 110%. Nice move by Darko. And that's what I mean by the European moves. He's got every European move down in his repertoire. Team, I'm the importer on the Hawks team. I'm going to match you. Dale Jones gets a wide open layup, but Darko says, get it out of here. Here comes Showtime, Brian Green. Brian Green now. And Alonzo Burton wide open in the corner. He missed that, Benny. Yeah, he was wide, wide open there. Normally, uh, Phil knocks those down, uh, especially with the game on the line here. So, um, you know, Darko sort of got his confidence back. You know, he made the jumper before. Forced that one, followed his shot and put it in. To see whether they stay with that switching defense on all screens or just whether it's a switch on the guard to guard or a ball guard to forward. And Kareem's a big man, but then all of a sudden Darko is like two inches taller than Kareem and twice as wide. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice move, shielding him with the body for the reverse layup from Darko. Tapping going on on the arms, which can throw your shot off, and as a shooter, you always want that called. Good contest of the jump shot by Brian Green. So the Hawks up now by 181.80. Back and forth, here we go. Maxi decides to take a bit of a hop. No travel call. Josh out of his shoes with just one move. Maybe it was just the shoes, Benny. Yeah, I think JP got a bit, uh, bit of water under his shoes there. He normally doesn't fall over. But that's uh, the works. You think he's the key? Uh, I think the whole lot of them have got to play really well. And rebounding's obviously going to be. Now he's uh, playing off the bench or playing as a starter with a whole bunch of players around him. So a lot of experience. And Impressive matchup there, Winnetana and a move their feet and make it a little harder for them to just take those uncontested outside shots and and layups like that are definitely certainly is and the HBS Hawks are certainly finding it tough them as it has been so many teams here this season playing against the Nuggets yes certainly will be they've been very very good from the foul lane and Darko has done a great job in keeping the Nuggets people that are guarding him honest. Nice ball movement from from the Hawks though. No call there either. The runner. You got to say, pity there's only two home games left. Gets the roll. Darko. Get. Played really well in Europe. It's come back from there.
Tem um inferno. Tem um inferno.